Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are doing my very first crumble cookie review and taste test. I've been waiting for some very exciting flavors to come out. I've been stalking the crumble subreddit because they always give spoilers of the upcoming flavors and whenever I saw this week flavors, I was like, okay, yes, we have got to try those. So it's currently Monday, March 7th and this week's lineup is all cereal themed cookies. So y'all know my inner child is absolutely screaming. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into these cookies let's open the box up here's the big reveal of this week's cookies they look so amazing this one is so colorful it's fruity pebbles oh my gosh we're just gonna go down the line i'm gonna start with this cookie and then work my way down i do have all of these screenshotted so i can tell you guys exactly what's in the cookie so the first cookie is a cornflake marshmallow cookie this is a no bake peanut butter cornflake cookie started with mini marshmallows and peanut butter chips then topped with a drizzle of peanut butter sauce. I actually looked up these cookies beforehand and this cookie is gluten free. So for my gluten free queens out there that can't have wheat, this cookie is for you. I am very excited about this one because y'all know I have a sensitivity to gluten. So anything gluten free is automatically a thumbs up in my book also this cookie is absolutely ginormous like how do they get the cookies this big i do not know but let's go ahead and give it a bite Mm-hmm. very peanut buttery with a little bit of sweetness to it i really like the texture because it's very crispy and crunchy It's all just like one texture because it is a no-bake cookie. This reminds me exactly of a Rice Krispies treat, but peanut butter flavor. Like, you know the little Rice Krispie treats? This is exactly what that tastes like, except it's not rice, like the little Rice Crisp. It's cornflake crisp, but it tastes exactly the same. <laughs> Next up, we have this cookie, and this is the chocolate cookie featuring Reese's Puffs. This is a chilled chocolate cookie with milk chocolate chips topped with a creamy peanut butter frosting and crunchy Reese's Puffs cereal pieces. So another like kind of peanut butter based cookie. Mm-hmm. Wow, we got little pieces of fruity pebble on it from the other cookie. Let me move that. I'm going to try it with the little Reese's Puffs pieces. Mm. This is the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. This one is a lot sweeter than the last one we tried. Um... It has chunks of chocolate chips inside of it. Double chocolate, and then you have your peanut butter frosting. This one is really good, but really sweet. <laughs> if you have a sweet tooth, that one will definitely satisfy it. All right, next up we have the Fruity Pebbles cookie. This is the one that I am most excited about. This is a cereal milk flavored sugar cookie brushed with a milky glaze and topped with crunchy fruity, fruity pebbles. <laughs> Let me try and get... Mmm. Oh. Mm. Okay, this one surprisingly is not as sweet. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Very crumbly with the fruity pebbles on top, but this one is perfect for kids. You definitely taste the fruity pebbles on top, of course. Very traditional sugar cookie taste. I do wish that they would have put more of the glaze on top, so the glaze that makes the fruity pebble stick to the cookie. I wish there was more of that because there's not a lot on here. I think they need to add more. 
This is a very dry cookie. Last up, we have this cookie. This is the cinnamon cookie featuring cinnamon toast crunch, and this is a cinnamon sugar cookie topped with a vanilla cream cheese glaze crushed cinnamon toast crunch cereal and a sprinkle of cinnamon sugar. I think I'm really gonna like this one because I love cinnamon. Mm-hmm. This one might be my favorite. Mm. I really like this one. Okay, my favorites, I think it's a tie between this and the chocolate peanut butter puffs one. So cinnamon featuring cinnamon toast crunch and then the chocolate featuring Reese's puffs. Those two are my favorite. Next up, it's going to be the cornflake marshmallow one. I really like that one. And the fact that it's gluten-free, I'm probably gonna eat the rest of that. Not the whole thing, but I'll probably have like the rest of about half of it before I go back to work. I wish they would put more of the glazing on it. This glazing right here, I wish there was more of that because their cookies are very thick and they're very dry. Maybe a warm cup of milk or a cold cup of milk. Yeah, a chilled cup of milk. It's really hot in my car, so actually <laughs> a chilled cup of milk does sound pretty good right now. But yeah, overall, I think my biggest complaint with the cookies is they are very dry. The taste of them is delicious. I think if you were to like eat quite a bit of these cookies in one sitting you would definitely need some milk or something to go with it or some ice cream i know crumble sells ice cream but it's like really expensive so i was not about to buy <laughs> ice cream from crumble but yeah i really really like this cornflake one this one is very very delicious it's super peanut buttery though so if you don't like peanut butter probably not the cookie for you and then this one this one is delectable and I think it's just because I really like the icing that's on top it makes the cookie way less dry mm-hmm all right, you guys, so those were this week's cookie flavors. Let me know if y'all plan on trying these flavors this week and what you think about these cereals that they chose. Personally, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch was one of my favorite cereals growing up. I also really love Fruity Pebbles, and I think, like, these two cookies go along with the lineup because it's a good mixture of salty sweet. So yeah, I really enjoy these cookies. Today's shout out goes out to Sonia Sony and she said, nice video, dear Daisy, can I get shout out from you in your next video? Love your videos. Thank you so much, girl. I love you all so much. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a thumbs up and I will see you guys back here next time. Bye guys.